Hello and welcome to class. For today's class, it's going to be a very beautiful restorative practice. So all you're going to need is a clear wall space and optional two blankets. Now, if you have a carpeted floor, one of the blankets is to pad the back, so you may not need one of them, and the other is just to place over the belly. So those are optional and a clear wall space. So we're going to take four variations of legs up the wall, just some nice restorative postures to open up the backs of the legs, the hips, alleviate the lower back. So when we take the legs up the wall, all the blood flows the opposite direction, allowing the heart to take a little bit of a rest. And if you're on your feet all day for whatever reason, this is a beautiful practice for you, whether it be any time of the day, but especially at the end of the day. I know sometimes when I'm chasing my toddler around all day, working and just I'm on my feet constantly cleaning, whatever the case is, my feet start to throb, even the backs of my legs. So this kind of is a nice reset in rejuvenating that whole area. So when you're ready, we're going to utilize this blanket. And when we take our legs up the wall, it might not be a beautiful process. It may take a few tries to get into that position. So take your time. And if at any point you need to come out of this, that's no problem. Sometimes you might get that sensation of like ants in your legs. Um, so we're just trying to allow the circulation to flow a little bit better here, but if it's starting to get uncomfortable, just come out of it whenever you need. You can always come back to this and take this at your own pace. All right, because we want to feel good. We don't want to feel crazy here. Okay, so when you're ready, you're going to take your blanket just to pad your back if you need this. And sometimes you may not even want padding and the the floor itself feels good, so just kind of determine what's good for you. So I kind of just took my blanket and a half fold here, took it up against the edge of the wall, and this one will go over the belly in just a moment, so keep it close. All right, so here we go. This is the fun part, it gets interesting. You're going to take your glutes to the wall and then swing your legs up and over. So it may take more than one try, just kind of have fun with it. There we go. So you can nestle into the wall if you need to come back down and take that again, feel free. Okay, so here we are. Get nice and comfortable. Shoulders are coming down the back. Just take those shoulders up and over. Allow the chest to open. Beautiful. And when you're ready, go ahead and take that second blanket and cover the belly. So however you like, if you want to take another fold, and smooth out your blanket. That's a nice option. And this is really kind of like a one of those weighted blankets, kind of having that sensation. We've got a lot going on here, all of our internal organs that are vital to us. Being here, taking breaths, being alive. And you notice if you feel uncomfortable in this situation, you might start to roll the shoulders forward to start to protect those vital organs. That's a protective behavior. So just covering them up is a nice way to feel secure and hopefully happy here with the blanket on the belly. So take a big exhale through the mouth. Maybe close the eyes, let the lids be heavy, soften the face and just do nothing for a moment. Just nothing, just allow the legs to drain out, to reset. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And starting the movement of your breath. So whether that's ujjayi breath, sealing the lips together in and out through the nose, maybe taking an inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. So just kind of determine what's going to work for you right now. And just bring your awareness to the back of the neck. If the chin is kind of pointing up towards the sky, slightly tuck it so the back of the neck is nice and long. 
And arms can be anywhere. You can place them on the belly, alongside the body, just kind of play with it. And once you find that sweet spot, just try to allow the fidgeting to dissolve. And congratulations for stopping before we begin to move and for taking this time for yourself to restore. Unhinge your jaw, allow the teeth to slightly separate and soften the space right between your eyebrows, that third eye. No frowning, just allow the skin to expand and to relax. Your skin is just draping over your body. As you soften all of your edges, and allowing gravity to do its job and to assist here in this grounding effect on the earth. back to the quality of the breath. Make sure it's flowing. It doesn't have to be super deep like it would be in a vinyasa flow or more of a powerful flow. Just a nice, smooth, rhythmic breath. Sometimes when we come onto our mats, this is the first time we're taking a deep breath all day. So enjoy. You're giving yourself a gift just by stopping and breathing deeply. So feel free to stay exactly where you are. If you want to stay here through the whole practice with just legs up the wall, feel free. Or in a moment here, we're going to start to gently open up the hip flexors, the insides of the legs, utilizing the wall as an assist. Staying with legs up the wall, or we're going to take the left leg, bend your left knee, take the left ankle on top of the right knee, okay? And here we are. So you can take your left hand and slightly nudge that left knee open, finding that external rotation. That's a little bit too much, and this is more than enough. Just hang out here. Just allow energetically the knee to be going towards the wall. It's easy to let it collapse. We don't want that. We want that beautiful opening. Okay. And if it feels good, maybe wiggle the toes, sway the ankles, open and close the toes. Really nice. Okay. And if you'd like to move the hip forward and back, Nice way to say hello. And other side, so allowing the left leg to come back, take the right ankle over the left knee, opening up that right hip. You can take the right hand and gently externally rotate the knee, or if this is more than enough, just hang out here. 
Energetically, the knee is going towards the wall, finding that opening. If you want to point and flex the feet, if you want to wave the knee back and forth, just saying hello, hip flexor. Whew. Typically, you have one hip that's a little bit tighter than the other, and that's completely normal. So just knowing that in your own body, just where to adjust and to modify where you can go deeper or not. Okay, really nice. So we're going to move into a butterfly position. Take the feet together. You can make the diamond nice and big like so, or take those heels a little bit closer to the glutes to deepen it, or somewhere in between. So just kind of find that here. And if you want to use the hands to externally rotate the knees, that's a nice option. So just kind of play with this here. And again, if anything is too deep, you can always come right back to legs up the wall. Okay, we're just using the wall as an assist for the hips right now. If you want to take the knees and sway them left to right, find some movement. Having this gravitational pull on the hips is so, so nice. It, it becomes a completely different experience than doing this position sitting up, using gravity, reversing the blood flow, and having all this support under us. You want to incorporate the hands here. Maybe the right knee kisses the wall. Maybe the left knee kisses the wall. You don't have to go that deep, but if that's the call, that's an option. Breathing into it. Don't lose that beautiful rhythmic breath. Hmm. So moving or not moving, utilizing the hands or not, just finding those sweet spots within yourself. Five more breaths here. Back of the neck is nice and long. Last two breaths, start to cleanse even deeper. And on your last breath, extending the legs up and over. Okay, and if you need to adjust with that movement, if the glutes kind of came off the wall, just shimmy on down. Okay. And when you're ready, either keeping the legs up the wall or taking the legs wide, we're coming into the inner thighs here, grounding the hips onto the earth. So you can even take your hands right at your hips and feel that grounding effect. So start to pull the hips towards the earth ever so slightly. And your legs can be a little bit more narrow, maybe wide, maybe they're touching the ground. <laughs> that will not be the case for me ever, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Shoulders down the back. Make sure those shoulders are nestled and you're nice and comfortable. Arms can be anywhere on the belly, alongside the body. So just kind of sink into this. It could be worse. We could be trying to attempt frog or the middle split. So this is a really nice way of doing it with all of this support <laughs> under us and around us. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more like this. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. 
Inhale, 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 inhale. One more at the top, inhale. Hold it. Open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> inhale the arms up and overhead. Extend the side body long. If the legs are great where they are, wonderful. If you wanna nestle them a little bit wider, feel free if that's the call. Opening up the side body, lengthening. Soften the base of your neck. And just inhale the arms long. Push your glutes into the wall. Get really long in the torso. I hope this feels really good for you because I feel glorious right now. So what I'm trying to say is I hope you're feeling what I'm feeling, which is making me smile. Okay. If that didn't work, let's try this. Left hand clasps the right wrist. Inhale the arms up and over. Release the shoulders down the back. Okay, so you start to feel the right side opening up and gently nudge the right arm up and away so you feel the right side opening. And if you would like, stay right here if this is more than enough or take it over to the left. Now plug your right glute into the wall. Don't let it come off and lengthen the right side. Whew, all right. There might be some cobwebs in there. I know there are for me, so here we are cleaning it out with the breath, with the opening. In and out through the nose. And visualize your ribs. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Inhale, back through center. Right hand clasps the left wrist. Extend the left arm along. Plug your left glute into the wall. Stay here. Or when you're ready, take it over to the right. Plug your left glute into the wall. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Very, very nice. And again, visualize your lungs. Inhale, long. Big inhale, inhale, inhale. Separate the lungs and exhale. Inhale back through center. Clasp that right wrist over to the left. Oof. The gaze can be anywhere over to the right, up at the sky. Just kind of feel what's working for you. Inhale back through center. Right hand, left wrist over to the right. Open it up. Ah. Inhale back through center. Go ahead and interlace the fingers. Flip the palms up and over. Last couple breaths here. Draw the shoulders down. Plug the glutes into the wall. Get really, really long. Ah. Okay. Last three breaths. Mm. Release the interlace. Take your time. You can take the hands right under the knees. Gently bring everything back together. And we're back to legs up the wall. Five breaths here, big exhale through the mouth. Maybe closing the eyes if they're not already. Feeling the rejuvenation of reversing the blood flow, working with the wall here as support. Last three breaths. Just absorbing all of those beautiful shapes, all of their benefits. time as you bend the knees, pause, take your time as you roll onto one side, go nice and slow, in your own time come into a comfortable seat, use the hands for support, 
keeping the eyes closed for just a moment here. Slowly opening the eyes, soft gaze, smile. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.